All right. Today I'm running uh, Red Green and Theros. To be honest, I'm not too happy with this deck. Honestly, I don't think I, I drafted it right. I don't think I pulled enough creatures in either of the two colors. So it's gonna it's gonna put me back a little bit. Computer six. We're finding computer six today. Here's a red. And we can't do anything. We're gonna have to sit here for a while. Computer six can't do anything either, just got green mana. To be honest, for this to be Theros block, I don't think there was enough. I don't think there was enough enchantments in any of the three packs. We did all three packs for the block. I don't think there was enough enchantments for this to feel like Theros at all. It's weird. I, I didn't see a single god. Um, the dual lands weren't there. There was there was the the Temple of Deceit, blue black, I believe it was. But past that, that was about it. Like, and I pulled I pulled this card, Forgeborn. I'm actually gonna play it. I pulled Forgeborn Oriads as like the second or third pick overall. Uh, cause I I expected a lot of enchantments. There weren't that many enchantments. It's really weird. It's really weird. We're dealing two there. We dealt four last turn, and then Oriaz deals one for our opponent to be at 13 right now. Four lands and can't do anything with them. This this These packs might have just been bad. That, that could be it entirely. The packs were just bad. Let's see. Uh, but, I mean, even the enchantments that we have aren't too good. It's weird. It's so weird. It's so weird. Karametra's Fever. We can put that. Let's put that on a. Uh, let's put that on a Seder Piper. It's gonna make it so that it can tap for any color mana we need. Now we're gonna deal one more thing to the Oriads. Is that how you read that Oriads? And we're gonna draw because of Karametra's Fever. They're both gonna attack for two each, four total. Uh, four? I'm sorry. This thing's a 4-2. That's actually pretty good. Better than I thought it was. Uh, six damage. The opponent's going to take six. These packs probably were just really bad. If I weren't going to do red-green, honestly, I can't tell you what I would do otherwise. Uh, Snake of the Golden Grove. It's a 4-4 four, four with tribute. Three. I can choose to let it come in as it is or let it come in with three plus one plus one counters. If there was no tribute paid, I'm sorry. I can either put three counters on it that's paying the tribute or I cannot pay the tribute uh, and if I don't it's gonna gain four life the opponent's gonna gain four life uh, I think I'm not going to let that happen no no counters for you buddy uh, pay tribute no we're not gonna pay tribute Let's see he must be blocked this turn of able okay so we're gonna use that to let the six sneak through wait Tribute wasn't paid game for life. Okay, that's fine. Oh, shoot. I should have had it done. That way we could have won this turn. It'll be okay. It'll be all right. Let's see. What I want to do. What I want to do is play the Seder Wayfinder. Right? Let's play Seder Wayfinder. And I can still... Oh, I can't activate that. Yeah, I can. For this. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, Put a land into my hand. This is the top four. Thanks to Seder Wayfinder. Top four on my deck. Put land to my hand. Yes. Give me a forest, please. I'll play that forest. And now I can activate Seder Wayfinder's ability without having to tap it. I select the creature. I'm going to have it so that it must be blocked this turn. Uh, it must be blocked. How many instants do I have in my graveyard? I don't think I have any. I don't think I should have any. No, I don't have any. How did this get there? I don't even know. Uh, I'm not too concerned with how I got there. Target creature must be blocked. I hope I chose Seder Wayfinder. Yes, I did. Okay, so it's 4-4. Four, four. It's going to block my 2-1, which means 6 is going to sneak through. He's back to 4, or he's down to 4 life, I should say. What are they going to do? He's going to play the Volpine Goliath, the 6-5 with Trample. Okay, now we got to figure out how to get those last points. Uh, this will deal damage to a creature only. Okay, so we can't use that for the, the kill. We cannot use that for the kill. All right. Let's see. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Here's. Don't want to do this. Uh, add two of any color. Yeah, I want to do that. I want to do Ness and Corsair. I'll pay three mana. 
And we could play this as well. We could play the Seder Nick Smith as well. Let's play that. And then next time we should be able to attack definitely for the win. Come on. What is this? Nemesis Immortals. Didn't I pull that? It costs one less for each creature in the graveyard. Basically, he paid, what, five mana? He got one off. Not bad. All right, he's going to attack for four and six. Attacking for ten. Not going to block anything. We're just going to swing next turn. We're going to swing for the win. Uh, the renowned Weaver. Let's go for the kill. Let's go for the kill. All in. We just need four to land. This five can only block. At the most, at best, the five five can block the four two. I'm still getting two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage in. There it is. When you when you go four turns without making a an attack, without playing a creature at that, it's it's kind of hard. This was the rest of my pool. I I started blue red and then blue stopped being good. So I had to switch to green. It wasn't too much I could take, honestly. Like, I got the bottom half of the green cards. Uh, I'm not thinking of switching anything. I don't, think, I don't really think I can. I might be able to do Storm Chaser Chimera. But I don't really have instance like that, do I? Uh, nah, Storm Chaser Chimera's... I want to say it's not good. It's just going to mess up my mana base. And it's already a, a rough deck. I'm just going to keep it. All right. So we have two lands. We have two forests. We need one mountain. And then the deck basically turned on for a while. Here's a, for, a forest. We're just going to pass it. The computer played two mountains this time. Interdasting. Interdasting. There's a mountain. There's Simic Wayf or Seder Wayfinder. There's Simic Wayfinder. That's funny. These are the top four of my library. What happens to the others? Oh, the rest go into the graveyard. That's how the other cards got there. Okay. So we're losing this card and this card. And not too bad. Put land on my hand. Yes. Give me that mountain. Mm, that mountain. How do I already have seven cards? Oh, it's my hand. <laughs> how do I already have seven of my graveyards? Turn two. This is my graveyard. Not bad. Yeah, I pass the turn. Uh, three lands over there. I think it's the computer number six. Uh, let's go for... Let's play the mountain. We'll drop this guy, Cool Guy Jones here. Minotaur Skull Cleaver. He's going to come in a 4-2 with haste. We're going to attack with both. That's five damage. Five to the life of computer six. BSC is going to play uh, Cyclops of one Eye pass. 5-2. All right. I'm down with a, I'm down with five two. Let's see, what's in my graveyard? One instant. Uh, if I can find another instant in there, then Spider Mogis is gonna kill this by itself. I need to find a, no, a way to get another instant in there though. Here's a, a lovely forest. Let's go ahead and drop the burnished heart. That's a better blocker. I can keep the scaling spell. All right, we're not going to attack. We're going to let it ride. We're just going to pass the turn. There's the Faragax Giant. Tribute 2. If I don't pay the tribute, if I do pay the tribute, it comes in a 5-5. Five, five. If I don't pay the tribute, I take 5 damage. I'm going to take the 5 off the top. I'll take the 5. No tribute. I'll take the 5. It's okay. We're tied at 15. He's going to attack with his 5-2. I'm going to block. Do I want to block with this? Yeah, let's block with a burnished heart. Get rid of his 5-2. Oops. Uh, wrong, wrong thing gonna block there we go we're not gonna use the ability we're gonna block all right there's a forest okay riddle of lightning i choose target creature or player and then i scry three and then scry basically means i rearrange the top three of, uh top x of my cards whatever number is after x uh so for this what i'll do is i'll rearrange the top three and then reveal the top card of the library that much damage is dealt to the giant. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Worst case scenario, I'm adding more fuel for Spite Mogis. All right, so let's pay for it. Rearrange the top three. Uh, select the cards I want on the bottom. Well, if I put any of these on top, I'm not dealing any damage. So all of these are going to the bottom. 
It doesn't matter the order to me. And then this is on top, Stator Wayfinder. So we just dealt two damage to <laughs> Faragag's Giant. Lovely. He's almost there. This is the next card in my deck. Alright, so let's go for the attack with the 1-1. One, one. And of course he's going to block. Good. He's dead. Alright. So next time we'll draw a Riddle of Lightning. L hopefully it'll put an instant in my graveyard and give this a lot more fuel. Spider Mogis. It's fuel based on instance of my instance of sorceries in my graveyard. It deals damage to the opponent equals to his own devotion, so it's gonna deal one damage to me. Fanatic Amogis. It's gonna deal one to me. Is that Fanatic? Yeah, Fanatic Amogis. Oh, the other was Fanatic of Xenagos. Got it. He's not gonna attack. He ain't that ballsy. I think uh what's this? Uh Spider Mogis. I think that's fueled up enough now for how do I look at my graveyard? For me to kill this outright. Yeah, because I got both riddles. I have two riddles in my deck. Both are in the graveyard. I don't know what you want. Let's kill it. Let's kill him. Uh, mountain on top? Let's put that mountain on the bottom, please. Okay, here we go. We'll drop the Seder Wayfinder. He's going to show us the top four. Ask me if I want to put a land in my hand. Yes, let's put a land in my hand. We'll thin that deck out a little bit more. Uh, let's see. I can draw both, can I? Yes. Uh, the Crowan's Crusader. Whenever I cast a spell that targets it, he gives me a token. So let's go ahead and play good old Karamatra's Favor on him. So I'm going to get a token, and he's going to tap for mana. All right, time to do some attacking. Oh, Karamatra also has me draw. There's three damage. Opponent's down to 12. They play Ferris Band Tromper. Inspired when it becomes untapped, uh, it gets a plus one plus one counter. That guy is dangerous. That guy is dangerous. Come on. Uh Seder Hedonist. It's gonna give me it's gonna give me mana. I don't think I need mana like that. Let's see, let's play a land. I think we might be might not be in a good spot right now. Let's move. Let's let's let it ride. If he wants to attack, we're going to block it and kill it. We can't let that thing get big. Uh, Swarm Born Giant. When you're dealt combat damage, this thing is sacrificed. But as long as it's monstrous, it has reach. So if he becomes monstrous, it gets two counters. It becomes an 8-8 eight, eight instead of a 6-6. Six, six. All right, he's going to attack with the 3-3. Three, three. We're going to block it. We're going to block it with the 2-2 two, two and the 1-1 one, one token, thanks to uh, the Crusader. Uh, when he's dealt combat damage, this gets sacrificed. So if we attack with two creatures, that thing is dead. That thing will die. Uh, Market Festival, Enchant Land. Uh, it gives me two mana, two bonus mana. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to attack through. He can't block everything. I don't think he can shoot everything down. So the Seder, I'm sorry, the Swarmborn Giant is going to die. There we go. All right. Uh, turn's gonna pass. Opponent's down to nine life. Oh, he's got another giant. How loverly. How loverly. Uh, market festival. Enchant land. Alright, how about we do this? Do we wanna drop both? Yes, let's drop both because we're gonna need fuel soon. We're gonna need fuel for everything we wanna do soon. Uh, if we put it on the same land. Then that land will create a lot of mana for us. First mana, I mean, it doesn't matter. And then green. There we go. Yes, yes, it's fine. It'll be all right. Uh, we're going to attack with both. We're going to lose both creatures, but he's also going to lose his giant. Not concerned. I am not concerned. Now, we should be able to play whatever we draw from here on out without exception. There's no reason we shouldn't, ex ex unless this is the exception. Uh, we need we need bodies for enchantments. Select the creature, the hedonist. I, my plan is to not sacrifice that hedonist right now. We don't need his mana. We got our own mana. When it attacks, it gets a plus one, plus one. If there's three plus ones, then we'll be able to pull out two lands. We'll thin that deck even more. Opponents at four life. Uh, Humbler of mortals. How lovely. Uh, a five, five, a constellation. The enchantment enters. Everything on his side is going to gain trample. We might have a little bit of trouble. We might have a little bit of trouble. We're going to let it ride. 
He can't attack, though. He'll be putting himself in a bad position if he attacks without playing anything. Just like that. The opening unicorn. He's going to attack with his 5-5. Five, five. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, I got another Piper. Target creature must be blocked this turn if able. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Target creature must block this turn if able. I need to manipulate these last few turns. Uh, Seder Hedonist is going to attack. Is he going to be blocked? No, he's not going to be blocked. Hey, that's it. He got the counter. That counter put him at four, and then he decided not to block. That's dope. 